Welcome back to Teacher Law Class and welcome back to the series of Survey of Mathematics and today we'll be continuing about Chapter 2 which is Part 4 and if you like to watch back the Part 1 and Part 3 feel free to go back and watch it and if you want to continue you may do so too and today we'll be talking about continue talking about the subtopic of intersection of sets and also the union of sets but before I talking about this one, let me just ask you a few questions, okay? Just imagine that you are a girl now, okay? And now, you are trying to pick a future husband, okay? And now, you need to choose in between these three options. Okay? The first is a handsome guy. The second is a smart guy. And the third, it is a handsome, at the same time, it is a smart guy, okay? Handsome and also smart at the same time. So, which one you would choose? Okay? So, if you say, I would like a handsome guy, it means that you have two options. You can either choose this and this if you say i want to have a smart guy then you can have this one and this one and if you say i want a handsome handsome maybe all a smart guy then your options will be this one this one and also this one because you say handsome or smart so it means that it can be either handsome or it can be either smart, it's okay. And it also can have both at the same time. However, if you use the word handsome and smart, this means that you only accept that a person with the trait of handsome and smart at the same time, which means that your options is only this guy. Okay? So today we'll be dealing about and and or, which is the intersection of sets and the union of sets. Okay, so just feel free to look at here. Okay, intersection of sets. Remember, intersection of sets talking about and. That means your region or the option that you have is limited. And remember that we have a symbol or a sign is this one. So for example, A is handsome, B is smart. So if you want handsome and smart, it will be A intersect B. Which means that A and B at the same time. Okay? So you can look at here also the set of elements common to both set A and set B. And A intersect B means that have X, have A, and also have B. So there's a Venn diagram here, the union of the set, universal set, and A and B at the same time. Which that this is all handsome guy, this is all smart guy, and all those handsome and smart guys are limited in here. Okay, so if you say handsome and smart, means that you only can find the people around here. Okay, so let's look at the questions here. Union, the universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A is 1, 2, 3, 4. B is 2, 3, 4, 5. And now it asks that find A intersect B, which means that A and B, the things that appears in A and B at the same time. So you can see, this is A, 1, 2, 3, 4, B, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what are the things that is repeated in A and B? So you can see that 2 is repeated here, 3 is repeated here, 4 is repeated here. 1 and 5 is not repeated in the others. So we can know that A in the sign B is equal to 2, 3, 4. Okay? Why? Because only 2, 3, 4 appears in both A and B. Okay? So it's quite easy. 
but let's draw and label the Venn diagram, draw and shade the Venn diagram. Okay, so of course there's a U here, and remember, once we know that there's an intersection of it, intersection of it, we need to know that it must intersect. Okay, oh, let me draw it properly. Okay. Doom. Okay. A, this is set A, this is set B. So, when we write all the elements inside, we need to write it from the intersection parts. Okay. A and B. So, what are the intersect one? Two, three, four. So, we need to write here. Two, three, four. And now, look back to the first one, A. A have one, two, three, four. So we know that two, three, four are located here. So we know that one is located here. Not inside means outside. And B, B means two, three, four, five. And within B, two, three, four is inside already. And leftover five, not inside, will be outside. And let's look back to the universal set. We have one, two, three, four, five. And the universal set have one, two, three, four, five, and six. 6 is not part of this A and B region, which means that it is outside. Not inside means outside. And 6. Just like the husband, if not sleeping inside, then he's sleeping outside. And let's look at the next question. Union. I mean, universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A is 1, 2, 3, 4. B is 2, 3, 4. And now it is requiring to you to find A in the set B. Okay, so the same thing, A and B at the same time. So you can look at here and see, hey, 2, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. So you can see, oh, 2, 3, 4 and are in the intersection. So you can say that A is intersect, B is equal to 2, 3, and 4. So is that good? I think it's kind of easy, right? And when you draw and shade the region, okay, if you notice, the whole thing B are inside A because we can see that B is a subset of A. The whole of the thing of B is inside A. So when we draw, we know that we cannot draw in a simple way like this intersect together because if intersect together there's nothing outside all will be inside okay so let me just try to draw first draw first to let you see see if this is u this is a this is b and we write, when we write down here the intersection what's the intersection two three four so we write here two three four and what is inside a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And what is inside B? 2, 3, 4 only. So this is blank. So we cannot leave it in blank like this because there's nothing inside here. So when we draw, we need to draw it like this. Let me show you. Since we know that the whole of the B is inside the A, we will draw it in like this. This is A, and B is inside. Why? Because there's no outside. And this is U. So A in the sign B is actually also B subset of A. <clears throat> and 2, 3, 4, so be here 2, 3, 4. And A within A is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 2, 3, 4 inside. If 1 is not inside, it means it is outside. And one, what is inside the universal set? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If 5, you see, 1, 2, 3, 4 is inside A, and 5 is not inside A, then it will be outside A. It will be 5 here. Okay? Okay. Just for information, I've forgotten to shade it. So for this question, A intersect B will be this region. And for this question, A intersect B will be this region. 
okay? And this also means that B subset A because whole of the B is inside the A. So let's continue. Universal set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A is 1, 2, 3. B is 4, 5. So find A intersect B. So what's A intersect B? What's the elements that intersect B? 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 5. Eh? There's nothing that intersects in between A and B. So you can say that A intersect B is equal to empty set, which is nothing. Okay? Or you can write it as, or you can write it as this way. Okay? So when you draw the diagram, it will be like this. One diagram, it will be like this. U, A, and B. This is A, this is B. Because they are not intersect with each other, so A we have 1, 2, 3, B we have 4, 5 here. And when we look back to the universal set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 is not in between A and B, not inside A and B, then A will be outside. You can just write 6. It doesn't matter that where you write the 6, here, 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 here. As long as it's within this region, it will be fine. And we don't need to shade for this diagram because there's no intersection. And let's look at this one. U. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Universal set have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A have 1, 2, 3, 4. And B is an empty set. So find A intersect B. A intersect B. It will be what? There's nothing, no elements in B. So there should be, have no intersection between A and B. So we can say that nothing. Empty set. So when we draw the graph, U, and we have A here, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the left over 5 will be outside. Why I didn't draw B? Because B is an empty set. We doesn't draw the empty set. Okay? That's all for the intersection part. And just now we discussed about a handsome guy and a non a smart guy and also a handsome and smart guy. And remember, when your option is all, this means either one is okay, then you have three options more, which is handsome, smart, or handsome and smart at the same time also. So just like this union, the meaning of union means that all. This means all. And also it has a sign of U, like this one. Intersection is an N sign, somehow like an N, but all is a U sign. Okay? It means that either the handsome person or either the smart guy, or either both of them have the characteristics, will be part of your options. Okay? Handsome, smart, or handsome and smart at the same time. It will be fine. So, just look at the questions here, or look at the notes here. Set of elements are the members of set A, or set B, or both. Set A, set B, or both. Handsome, smart, or handsome and smart at the same time. Okay? You can see X, A, O, B. And then take the repeated number. Just remember that. Sometimes when we do something, it has a repeated, and please don't take it. Okay? We will un you understand in the questions here. So let's look at the questions. U is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A is 1, 2, 3. B is 2, 3, 4. Find A union B. So, so we can write here A union B. For my suggestion, I will try to draw the when diagram first, usually for this kind of questions. Because we want to put it 
exact the place so that we will not confuse. So let's try to draw the Venn diagram first for this time. Okay, this is a Venn diagram. And we have U, and here says a 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. So we can see that there's an intersection of A and B. So we can basically first draw the graph like this. A and B. So we will always we'll write, we'll find the intersection first. So we can see that it has 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. The intersection is 2, 3 and 2, 3. So 2 here and 3 here. And when we look at the A, we have 1, 2, 3. So we have 1, 2, 3. And we look at the B, we have 2, 3, 4. So we have 2, 3 and 4. And in the whole union, uh, universal set, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That's all. And the union part will be here, whole thing here, and whole thing here. Okay. So if you doesn't want to draw the graph, so yeah, I mean you can just write here one, two, three, four. If you doesn't want to draw the Venn diagram, it's fine for this question that you can just get it directly. What you need to do is A union B. This means everything inside A and B. So you can take 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. And since here say don't take the repeated number. So you take 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you can get 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So this is a quite of easy question. So you can just do it like this. But it, when you go deeper into set theory that you might need to draw your Venn diagram to make sure that you are correct. Okay. So let's continue with the two questions here. Let universal set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A is 1, 2, 3. B is 4, 5. Find A union B. So if you want to do it straight away to find it, you can just write A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you just write here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's all. Because we all need to do is find the elements inside A and B. And since it is not repeated, we can just write it down straight away. However, if you want to draw the Venn diagram, just take note that do we have intersection between A and B? There's no. So we can write it, draw the Venn diagram in this way. A, B. Why? Because there's no intersection between A and B. And A we have 1, 2, 3. B we have 4 and 5. And let, let's, let's look at the universal set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hey, we have done putting all the elements, which means that there's nothing outside. And we can share it. A union B means everything inside A and everything inside B. That's all. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at the next question. Universal set U, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, 1, 2, 3, and B. A. B now is a empty set. Now we need to find A union B. Remember, A union B, basically you just need to write down what is inside A, what is inside B. So we can say that A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3. Wait, 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 wait. How, about, how about the empty set? Empty set is empty, so there's no elements inside. Then we will leave it like this, okay? And when we draw the diagram, when diagram, remember, U here, A, and we will not draw B because it's an empty set. There's nothing inside. And we'll draw 1, 2, 3. And remember, the universal set have 4 and 5. It is not inside A, then it will be outside A. So when we share it, it will be A union B. 
okay that's all so let me just go back to the questions and let me just give you some idea you might be questioning why 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 there's a repeated number you see don't take repeating number he says right don't take repeated number and this question why there's a repeated number like this case one two three two three four it is repeated because it is under the intersection point intersection part which A holds it and B holds it together so usually we will not take the repeated number because if you look at here listing out uh, rows the method you can see the repeating but in the diagram you cannot say it because it is putting it together already okay so there's a repeated number because both of it have it at the, the same time that's why A has it and B has it too okay so this is what we be discuss what we have discussed about intersection which is n with the sign of like an n sign and another one is union have a u sign which is name which it means o okay so i hope you understand n and o concept this is very very important in the in continuing the next next subtopics okay so thank you so much for watching so if you have more questions please feel free to comment and ask and i can clarify it and be safe and you can do some revision on this topic and look back to the video previous thank you so much